Now we'll take a look at the architecture of AngularJS. AngularJS contains modules which act as a container for different types of applications such as views, controllers, directives, factory, etc. Module specifies how an application should be bootstrapped. Using modules, processes will be easier to understand. It is the place for creating, registering and retrieving Angular modules. Then we have config component. This only accepts providers from modules, means every service, factory, etc. are instances of provider. It provides all these instances to routes. The routes are used for linking URLs to controllers and views. Then we have views. They are used to add sophisticated handling of user events. It uses ngView directive. Then we have controller which controls the data of AngularJS applications which are regular JavaScript objects. AngularJS defines ngController directive which creates new controller objects by using controller function. And new child is available to the controller function as dollar scope as we can see in the diagram. The views sends element or attribute to the directives which tells AngularJS HTML compiler to attach specific behavior to the DOM element and its children. The factory is used to define the AngularJS service and it is called when a service needs to be instantiated.